So as it stands, all I've done is be in the hotel, get on a bus, go down a motorway and get to the arena and sit there until it goes dark and then get back on a motorway and go back to the hotel. I haven't seen anything of Bahrain. So these lads, I've got Ali, Ahmed and I've got Mohammed and these guys have kindly offered to show me around Bahrain. We're at the museum, we're starting at the museum, we're going to go to a market, we're going to go to a football club, we're going to be going all over Bahrain, we're going to be checking out as much as we possibly can. So let's see what happens. Let's eat it first and then we're gonna tell you. Who is it? Uh, chicken? Oh, yeah, chicken. Uh, just rice. Is there any meat in that one? This is. Oh, I think this is homo, which is fish. But you, you skip that one. And <laughs> this one is meat. Yeah. Lamb. Yeah. To what's the new name? It used to be the Portuguese fort. And now it's the Bahrain fort. Bahrain fort. Two thousand years old. Yeah, maybe. It's yeah. in pretty good nick. Kind of. Yeah. Well, kind of. I don't think you could live in it today. <laughs> inside my heart and uh, I like it uh, and I love it, it's the first, uh, it's like, I don't have home and home here, uh, not me the legend in Bahrain, the, the legend is Muharraq club. In the first club in Bahrain we take uh, like uh, outside competition or outside, the, the, not, it's a league, not a league, it's a cup. The, the common one competition. I mean, you guys say this is like the UEFA Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same over Cup. And yeah. the only team in Bahrain. Only team in Bahrain and uh, take it on the Mahara. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Right, we are in Maharak. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, we're just in the training ground. Uh, literally, training's going on right here. Uh, just managed to speak to what I'm being told is the equivalent of Paul Scholes. Yes. Stuff I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he was sound. Yeah. Probably got told he don't speak English, speaks pretty good English. Uh, and we are just watching. This is the biggest team in Bahrain. This is the most successful team in Bahrain. And um, facilities wise, it's, it's, like, it's like a high school, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been proper welcome there. This is awesome. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. right, so Mohammed says, I've not been to Bahrain unless I've tried. What is Same it? Mohammed Halwa Shwaydur. The best Halwa in, in the Bahrain. You have to try Halwa. Okay, so I've got to try it. So this is what we're going to do. Yep. <laughs> So basically this is the factory over there and here's where they sell it. How cool is that? We are going for something to eat for dinner in Adelia. Yep. Sounds like there's a million Saudis here, by the sounds of things. <laughs> and the streets all lit up, as you can see, and it's Friday night, which is the, the night out in the week. And it looks like the entire country of Bahrain is on the street. <laughs> it might be a bit too dark to see this. <laughs> right then, back here with my boy Mohammed. We are now back at the stadium, the arena where I've been all week for the IMAPs. And we are here to watch uh, Al Ali. Al Ali, yeah. Uh, against, uh, I can't remember the name of the other team. Uh, the stadium is here just behind us, but apparently a match day tradition in Bahrain is sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. So we're gonna get some sunflower seeds and, uh, and see what that's all about. Um, and then we're gonna go in and check the game out. I've also got another Mohammed here as well who's joining us today. Hello. Oh, no. I got cash. Bahrain, young Gabo. Mohammed's just been saying that the atmosphere is a little bit on the dead yeah. side. Normally he comes and watches Maharak and Maharak's, the place that we saw earlier, the, uh, has got like a bit of an ultra section and that's a little bit more noisy and it's just... Yeah, there's like drums, megaphones, people yelling, people screaming. What, like this? There's like a quiet... There's, there's about 80 people in here. Yeah. I, I counted. <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a small island as well, uh, a lot of the facilities are shared, aren't they? So a lot of yeah, the league yeah. is a. Uh, we're this game kicks off at five twenty, but it's a game at eight. Uh, it's no seven thirty. So oh, as 7 soon as they finish, there's another team coming in. How mad's that? Like sharing the facilities. Like yeah. That. So there's going to be another set of fans and another crowd in there, and um, it's a bigger team. Coming it's a bigger, well. Yeah, it's a bigger game. So it might fill up actually towards the end of the game as people are getting ready for the next game. That's kind of mad, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Right, second half is just kicking off. Would you say this is the best game you've ever seen? Yes, I think so, yeah. Are we blaming the pitch? Are we going to give them the excuse that the pitch is pretty dry? At least we've got one player good. Yes, yeah, so there's the number 10. In fact, is that number 20 that's got his back there now? Uh, no. Oh, it's a different guy. Oh, it's a different guy. Yeah. must have something. No, so there's, playing on the way. there's one good guy that they've got that we think is pretty decent. Everybody else... Close to... Mm, not so much. Yeah. Um, I don't think Al Shabab have had a shot. Actually, I don't yeah, remember them having a shot. I don't think they've passed. <laughs> no, they've probably not passed the halfway line. And Al Ali have had two shots. One was blocked. One was just part of the post. Yeah. Um, thrilling game. Thrilling. It's not really. It's pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
So the sunflower seeds was pretty Moorish, actually. <laughs> I've already got them stuck all over my beard. Um, but they make a right mess. So it looks like the, the guys in the green over there are the, the next game. That's yep. turned up, ready to rock. Hope we've all got the subs. Warming up. Alrighty then, so another game done. Just leaving the ground. Um, me and Dave have this little phrase, don't we, where we say, want to go to the games where you don't know anyone that's been to a game. Like, everyone can go to El Clasico, everyone can go to Dortmund Bayern, everyone can go to the Old Firm Derby. How many people do you know that have been to Al Ali against Al Shabab? There's probably guys there that don't even know people that have been to it. <laughs> Whatever, it's an experience, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Time to get home, get back to Manchester, uh, where I believe it's about 25 degrees cooler than it is here at the moment at night. So this is basically Red Bull with blueberry syrup, which is mixed with ice. So it gives you a boost for anything you want to do. So it's called Derby Blue. And there's, a, there's something else called Derby Red, which is exactly the same thing, just with strawberries instead of the blueberries. This is it. Let's try one of those. That's pretty nice. It's like a bit strong, isn't it? The, the blueberry tastes a bit strong. It tastes Red Bull in it, but yeah, I, I bet that wakes you up when you need it. <laughs> right then, Mohammed told me that uh, I have to have Jasmine's or I haven't been to Bahrain. So, let's go to Jasmine's and then I, I guess I've been to Bahrain. So, Jasmine's is basically like a combination of McDonald's and Burger King by the looks of things. They do the double cheeseburger that Burger King does and they have something that looks a bit like a Big Mac. But they also do the same sort of breakfast that McDonald's does. So this is what I've got right now. I've got a chicky chicken, spicy chicky chicken, chips and a drink. All right, I had the Jasmine's. I'm gonna say, Mohammed, that's the first thing you've been wrong about this entire trip. Uh, it was all right wasn't amazing. I had the spicy chicken burger. It was okay, but it wasn't. Everything else like you said to me is gonna be mint, has been mint, but this wasn't that mint. Anyway, me and Ben are in the airport now. I am driving. You're gonna see more from him uh, very soon on here, so keep an eye out for that shit. But uh, we're just chilling in the airport now. We've got about an hour and a bit till our flight. Um, he's flying to Manchester, I'm flying to Manchester. Our flight's at the same time, but we're not on the same flight. Who'd have thunk it? Um, Nearly on. Right, done on the train. Heading back to Manchester Piccadilly, just landed. Just managed to get my bags and all that stuff. Actually really bugged me people in getting through passport control with the, with the e passport thing everyone was just an absolute weapon couldn't do it i didn't mention earlier i kind of got arrested in um passport control on the way out of bahrain i had a journalist visa which was only seven days what i thought it covered up till the 19th when i was leaving yesterday and it it didn't apparently so i was going through passport control the guy goes um, your visa expired yesterday uh, really? And he goes, yeah. Um, he goes, you're a journalist? And I went, yeah, well, I'm not really. I was working with the media side of stuff. So I kind of was like, sort of saying, yeah, but the lads that shown us around everywhere, said like being a journalist is like basically being illegal in, uh, 
in Bahrain. They don't like journalists. So this was all running through my head at the time. So I kind of shit myself a little bit. And he goes, wait there, someone will come and get you. So I stood there and a guy come and grab my arm, go around the back of the bicep. And you're like, yeah, this isn't good. And he goes, come with me into this room. Sits me down and he goes, who do you work for? And I said, oh, I've been here for the IMAFs for the, the MMA. And he goes, oh, cage fighting? And I said, yeah. And he goes, oh, you're free to go. And then he took me over to another little desk and he stamped me up with a new stamp on my passport. And just said, like, have a nice trip. And I was like, okay. I don't know what would have happened if I hadn't been working for IMAF. But there you go, that is another trip done. Really, really, really enjoyed this one. Beautiful people, beautiful scenery, done loads. Proper exhausted now, haven't really slept a minute on the plane. Um, I just want to go back to bed now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next one.